Hello coders, welcome back to Daily Coding. Today we will see one more challenge from Lead Code. It's lemon and change. This is one of the daily challenges given by Lead Code. The problem is pretty simple. We have some laminates in hand, and each laminate costs is five dollars. And we have a vector of bills, and each bill will have the five or ten or twenty. Uh, only only five, ten, or twenty. Nothing more than that. So whenever we get the five dollar bill, we need to give one laminate. If we get the ten dollar bill, since the laminate cost is only five dollars, we need to return five dollar to the customer again. And when we get the twenty dollar bill, we need to take five dollar again, and we need to return fifteen dollar. Then that means one ten dollar and one five dollar to the customer. So this is how we need to process each order. The problem here is. We do not have any change in hand in the beginning. We need to start with zero. So we can get the change only from customers, and we need to process only from that amount. Let's see one example. Let's take the first case: the five, 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 and ten and twenty. When the customer, initial customer, has five dollars. We can process the bill and we get the five dollar and give one lemon to the customer and we will have five in our in and we will have five in our wallet. And the second customer is also five, so we will process the same. And the third customer is also five. We will process the same and we have three fives in our wallet, total fifteen. And the next customer has ten dollars and we need to take only five dollars. We will get the ten dollars from the customer. We will return back five dollars and we'll, see we have three fives in the beginning. Uh, the fives will be decreased by one, and we have only two fives, and so the fives dollar cost is ten. And now we have one ten dollar. Okay. Now we got the twenty bill. We need to take only five dollar. So we need to return back one ten dollar and one five dollar. So we can process all the customers, and here the result is true. Let's take some other example. Second example. We have five dollar. We need to start with zero again. We have five dollars, so we get the five dollars and give one laminate. And second, we need to get the five dollars and give one laminate. And we have two fives now. The third is ten, so we need to get the five dollars and return five dollars to the customer. So now we have only one, one five dollar bill. And the second, and the next is also ten, so we need to process only five. So we return back the other five to the customer, and let's see, we have only two ten dollars with us, and we have no five dollars to return. Fifteen dollars to the last customer, so we cannot process all the bills in this example. So we need to return the false. This is uh, the problem, and we need to implement the logic for this. Let's see how we can implement solution for this problem. This is the solution for that problem that we need to take initially five and ten. How many fives we have till now, and how many tens we have till now. And we need to process each bill, bill by bill. So for each bill in bills, so I'm using a switch statement. You can use if, if else something like that. I'm using a switch statement to make more clear since we have only three cases: five, ten, and twenty. If we have more than uh, unlimited number of denominations, and that's a different problem. It will go to the some medium or hard level problem. But that's not the case here. We have only three cases: five, ten, and twenty. So in the case of five, we need not to return anything. Just we will increment our five count. And in the case of ten, if we have, we do not have any more fives to return, so we cannot process that. So we should return false. If not the case, that means we have fives. So we need to decrease five by one because we need to return five dollars to the customer back. And we got we got the ten dollars, so we will increment the ten dollars by one. So that's the case. And case of twenty, case of twenty has two measures, and one is if we do not have no, we do not have any tens. So in that case, we can give three fives if we have three fives. So there are two cases in it. When there is no tens and when we have tens. When there is no tens, so if the fives are less than three, so if we do not have fifteen dollars. Three fives, fifteen dollars. You do not have, so we need to return back. We, need, we cannot return the change to the customer, so we should return false. 
So if the statement is not executed, that means we have fifteen dollars with us. So we can return five and so we decrement our uh, five by three. That's it. And else, so in tens are not zero. We have tens. So if the in that case, if, uh, for to return fifteen dollars, we should return one ten and one five. We have tens, but we do not have five. Then that case also we cannot execute because we need to return one five and one ten total fifteen, right? So if, if fives are zero, then we cannot return the change. So we should we cannot process that customer. So we return false. If we can process that customer, we need to decrement our fives by one and our tens by one. So that is the case, three cases. And if we can able to process all the bills, that means we have processed all the customers. And the resultant return is true. Let's see how this code works on these two examples visually, so that you can get a better idea on what we are doing. Let's see the example one, and we have this as the input. We have this as example five, 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 ten, and twenty. We should process this input one by one. So let's continue. So to process this input, we have we should declare two variables what to track. One is files and one is tens. To declare to track, no to track a number of files we have, number of tens we have. So we start with one, the first input, and we have five. So we did, and we have one file. And the second input also we have two files now for that. And for the third one customer, so now we have three files. For the fourth customer, we need to give one five back, and we may have one ten now. And the fifth customer, one ten and one five, so we left with one five, but we have processed all customers, so the result is true. This is how the algorithm works. And this is the second case. The second case is five, five, ten, ten, and twenty. These are all the bills. So in the same way, we need to have two. Variables to track fives and tens, and we process the first, and we have one, so one five. We increment one five, and five again. We have two five still now, and we have ten bills, so we decrement one five by one, and increment ten by one, and again ten. We decrement five by one and increment ten by one, but we have twenty now. We have twenty, so there is no five to return. So the result is false. This is how the algorithm works. So in this way, we can solve this problem. Thank you, thank you, guys. I hope you enjoy this video and you got you got to understand how this problem works visually. If you like this video and do not subscribe it, please do subscribe it and share this video with your friends who are also preparing for the interviews. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.